This is a watch that literally just works well with everything. Yeah. What are you seeing with like the global vintage Hoyer market? It was kind of quiet last year, but 2024 has been a lot stronger. I think this might be my favorite of the four you brought out. Today. That's very Adam Golden DNA right there. Yeah. Super sharp case. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had one probably a couple years at this point. Has the market kind of stayed the same? Like where it's it... moved up, I would say, over the last year. Interesting. You know? What are you seeing with like the global vintage Hoyer market? It was kind of quiet last year, but 2024 has been a lot stronger. I don't know exactly why. I think there's a lot of interest with like the Kith Hoyer stuff. They are doing really well with the marketing. Now the Seafarer, there's talk of them being the Formula One watch. Uh, you're a Formula One nut. Right. So they might replace Rolex next year. I think it's been great what they're doing, and it's certainly helped. It's been a lot easier to sell vintage Hoyer chronographs this year than last year. Yeah, I, I've noticed myself, and again, I think you probably sell more because I know you've been a champion of Hoyer like your entire life. Yeah. And I remember you and I having a conversation years ago when Hoyer was on the downslide after the Hoyer Parade Phillips sale. Yep. And you had like a very good comment that still sticks with me. You're like, it's a shame when the market goes down and how that affects your enjoyment of the watch. It's like it true. shouldn't really matter what the market of a watch is, the market value, excuse me, of a watch is. And yeah, I think on this bracelet, it's absolutely perfect. I yeah, think was, you I knocked was, it out of the park. I was happy I held onto that bracelet. <laughs> so you have a bunch of bracelets for sale yeah. on your website. So is that just a byproduct of you buying up I've way too many way, bracelets? I've got several hundred bracelets and Jesus. my wife, Christine was like, you gotta do something about all this. And it's also hard for us, as Charlie can attest, like sometimes to keep track of all this stuff. So it's almost easier now that it's more organized. And like, yeah. I shop my own stash like every day, if you will, like, oh, this would be great on here or whatever. But, and people sometimes come by and they like, have a watch and we look at 10 different bracelets on it and they usually find something they like so yeah fine. i'm horrible with organizing my bracelets we have so many and just, just like a bucket so many full parts and like bracelets that are like oh the end links are wrong or throw it in the drawer fix it later you yeah know? yeah and, then it and i don't remember my costs on yeah. any of them Exactly. Horrible. It's a mess. It's better. Well, kudos to Christine. And if you guys need any bracelets, hit Eric. You know where to go. <laughs> go on his website. He's got a bunch listed there. Just on the like bottom a, of the site. Sounds like a lot more. A lot not more listed. not listed yet. <laughs>